Hey Aquarius, I hope y'all are doing well. Um, this is going to be your general weekly reading for the 22nd through the 28th, I believe. Yeah, 22nd through the 28th. I'm going to go ahead and get started here, Aquarius. I do have personals open for those of you who are interested. They're open, open for a limited time. Um, I do have my email in the description if you want some details, but I also have some details in the community tab if you know how to get there. Uh, there are details listed there as well. Aquarius, okay. Your overall energy is the Ace of Cups. Love to see it. Okay, so this could actually be um, a week where love is the main focus, and it doesn't have to be romantic love. It could just be gratitude in general, love for the things around you. Um, you do have the Five of Swords starting off, though. You do have a couple of cards that, like, suggest that things are kind of heavy or wishy-washy or, like, something's up in the air here. You have the Five of Swords. Somebody could have Venus in Aquarius here, but this can sometimes represent mental conflict. Um... Struggles with communication. What's going on here? What's going on with the Five of Swords for Aquarius? Death and Rebirth. Okay. Some of you, I feel like you're kind of in between here, Aquarius. You have the Eight of Cups. So I do think something, if like something's already ended is basically how this feels to me. But I feel like there is some mental trouble. Like you're you're having trouble getting rid of the memories and things of that nature, you know. Um, obviously, those things are going to come up from time to time. So I feel you in some up and down energy here, especially on the 22nd. Um, yeah, the Four of Cups showing up, Moon and Cancer energy. Uh, because you're going through a rebirth, you know, when the Death and Rebirth card shows up, that's like there's the ending, there's the death of something, but then... Where is the birth of something? Like that is that is where the new thing lies, is in that rebirth. And that hasn't happened yet. So you're kind of in between worlds here is the energy that I feel. And that's exactly what I'm feeling in the Two of Pentacles as well. You could have a busy day there on the 23rd. Um, things could be, um, you know, I feel like you could be having to move plans around. <clears throat> wow. Move money around. Like there's a new obligation here for some of you. Like something unexpected could happen to where you have to move things around. What's going on with the Two of Pentacles? Oh, oh, justice is showing up. Somebody needs you to do something for them. Do me a favor or something like that here. Yeah, you have the devil showing up, Capricorn energy, Libra energy. Somebody's stuck somewhere. Like somebody is stuck somewhere, and it doesn't have to literally mean that, the, I mean, it doesn't have to mean that they're like physically stuck somewhere, although it could, but, you know, they need you to do something for them. Nobody, like they can't count on anybody else to do it. It doesn't feel like a toxic energy. The devil honestly feels like somebody is restricted, you know, like maybe their car breaks down or something, you know. Don't wish that on anyone, but, you know, and just using an example here, Page of Pentacles, yeah, you're going to get a message and you're going to end up moving things around to go help someone out here is how this feels to me um hmm. you have the lovers showing up so let's look at that we have gemini energy with the lovers it can represent a connection here aquarius um but it can also represent a decision a turning point i feel the week gets busy for you around the 22nd okay but then the 23rd you have this ten of swords energy under the lovers ten of pentacles my goodness okay yeah, some of you, you're feeling that pressure, that mental conflict there. Um, it's very interesting. You're feeling that pressure and um, that mental conflict here with the death card and the rebirth energy because you're in that in-between space, but it's because you're headed into this lover's energy. Moving from the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles, like this is something you have set yourself free from in the Ten of Swords. Ten of Pentacles, this is something I feel you're just getting started on, but it's going to lead to long-term stability. It's going to lead to long-term long success. So I do think that that could be a really big day for um, for someone here. I mean, obviously, that's not going to be everybody, but for someone special, I think that could be a really big day. Maybe you get a job offer, uh, but it really honestly feels to me like it's a connection. You know, maybe you go to a gathering or maybe where you have to move all these plans around. Um, you know, it could be a day where maybe you meet someone new and you exchange numbers or they add you on social media and the whole evening ends and you talking to them. It's one of those. It's one of those types of days, okay? One of those days you just don't forget, okay? And I feel like it allows a lot of that old energy to to, um, you know, dissipate. Yeah, Two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Two of Cups. There's a new connection here. There's a new connection happening, and for a small portion of you where it's not this, um, oh my goodness, where it's not this Judgment and the Two of Cups, where it's not you deciding you're going to connect with someone new and you're going to give it a chance, um, for some of you it's going to be something work or money related. Two of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles, do I say or do I go? Now, those of you where it's work or money related, I do feel like it's a little bit more, um, it's a tougher decision than it is to connect with this person in love. Obviously, some of you, you're worried about the stability of that situation, but I think it'll be fine here. Yeah, Queen of Cups, you you know in your heart that it'll be fine, so absolutely go for it here, Aquarius. Uh, that's going to be a really big day for you or for 
you know, I, obviously that part's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, but you do have the Hermit showing up here as well. What's going on with that? King of Pentacles. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. Some of you have an Earth sign withdrawing here. Some of you have an Earth sign withdrawing. Page of Wands is showing up. I feel like there's somebody who's really itching to say something to you, Aquarius. So I don't know what that's about. But, um, you know, they're really itching to say something to you after they have withdrawn. Why did they withdraw? Could have been over money issues, a spat over money, um, or a spat over time and energy. Um, I feel like you were dealing with a crybaby here, honestly. You have the star showing up. And it could have been someone in the family. But the star is showing up. I feel like things are starting to <laughs> really uh, manifest for you. Things are working out in your favor when the star shows up. That is like wishes being fulfilled it doesn't mean everything you've ever wished for is you know coming true right but there's something significant happening for you and I feel like it could be a couple different things here and um, this energy they, they can't catch wind of this somehow that's one reason I think it could be family for some of you um, and they're wanting to speak with you about it they're really itching to talk with you I feel like they're trying to call you in yeah you have the Sun yeah, they're, they're seeing you like radiate with happiness and I don't know how or why they're seeing it, um, <laughs> but uh, I know that they're seeing it. They could be watching you, uh, but I really feel, I strongly get the energy that they're like hearing this through the grapevine. So take that how it resonates. Could be a Leo involved somewhere. You do have the Ten of Swords, Sun and Gemini. Let's look at that. What's going on with the Ten of Swords? If you've felt a lot of pressure um, or a lot of worry, anxiety, fear over something, I feel like that's going to be letting up. You move into a more calm space towards the end of the week because you have the Eight of Pentacles. You start to realize that things are working. Like there's something here where maybe you're waiting on uh, communication. It doesn't have to be from a person, um, you know, a love interest or anything of that nature. I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles showing up, it could be someone in the workplace. Maybe you're trying to hear back from a boss about like time off that you need or, you know, maybe there's like a request you put in for something or you want to have like a meeting or conference or something of that nature and you've not heard anything back. I feel like you will be hearing back <laughs> from that person here. Uh, it could have something to do with your workload as well. Maybe you're like, oh, I'm nervous to ask to go down to part time, right? It could be something like that. Ten of Wands energy. Like I feel a lot of nerves for you, Aquarius, but I feel like things work out, you know. King of Cups energy. Somebody's very understanding, um, you know, or somebody is very, um, oh, how do I... How do I describe that energy there? Some of you, you're worried that somebody's not going to cut you slack or you need slack. I feel like they definitely are going to do that for you, okay? Especially if you've had a recent tower, okay? They're wanting to give you time to clean something up here. So I don't know what's going on with that, but you do have the Three of Wands as well. Sun in Aries energy. What's going on with this for Aquarius? What's going on with the Three of Wands for Aquarius? Some of you see a brighter future up ahead. You're starting to move on from something finally, like you're in the final days of, it could be that past connection here. You're in the final days of like heartbreak over a situation. You're like, I'm just done with that. I'm done with something that wasn't giving me any energy. You have the six of swords or wasn't giving me the proper energy. Like somebody can give you energy all day long, but is it, are they saying anything? You know, it's almost like some of you, you could have been talking with the person, connecting with the person who just said a lot, but it was also just a lot of nothing. You know, there wasn't anything meaningful uh, within those conversations. So maybe you're realizing that now and you're like, okay, that makes it a little easier to move on, right? Um, you know, they never said what they wanted. They never, you know, talked about how they felt about me or anything of that nature, right? So you're realizing that, you know, it's okay to move on. Uh, Five of Pentacles is showing up here. So that's exactly what you're doing. I think you could have been heartbroken over this. Maybe you saw this person in your future. And, you know, now I feel like you're really making sense of things with the moon showing up because the moon can be like an energy of like dive, diving deep. Um, she's even underwater here in the card. It's a card of your intuition. So some of you are realizing, okay, I kind of saw that coming because three of wands is also a card of foresight. In the traditional Rider weight, it's a man at the top of the hill and he's looking out over the land. So uh, it can talk about, you know, seeing what's coming, seeing the ships that are coming in, seeing the ships that are sailing away. So yeah, I feel like that's something you're looking back on. You're like, maybe I did kind of see what was going on there. You have the uh, high priestess showing up as well, Pisces energy. I also feel some information could be coming in about a move, like something you left behind. Some of you, Aquarius, you've, you've left something behind somewhere. You're getting information about that. Or it's possible there's something that needs to be changed, like, a, like an address or something of that nature. Something with mail for some of you. Something you forgot, okay? Hmm. So, could be an old roommate or somebody reaching out to you, like, hey, you have this here. Um, could be something like that. 
got this package. The high priestess, the three, the four. Mm. Aquarius, you have the emperor, you have the fool, you have the three of swords. Okay, that's pretty powerful. Yeah, because the high priestess showing up, this represents somebody who has an inner knowing. Um, you know, when it comes to, it, it, it doesn't mean that this person knows all, okay? I want to stress that here because I feel like, you know, that could be, this could be your energy here. It's not saying you know all, but you know when something's off. You know when something is right, you know. Um, there's, there's a certain feeling that you're getting in a situation. You have the emperor, which is head over heart. You have the fool, which I'm really drawn to the way that the fool is standing because here in this deck, the light seers, she's like, oh, how do I describe that here? She's like falling off of this cliff. Because she's had this feeling, she's had this like inner knowing that she's going off that cliff regardless. You know, spirit's going to push her off that cliff um, because that's what's happening in the Three of Swords. Like there's this heartbreak. There's, you know, there's something here where it's like, I know that it's inevitable. You know, for those of you where you were in a connection and you had a hard time closing it out, you're like, it's already over. I just need to do it. I just need to call it what it is, right? And that's where this head over heart emperor energy comes in. So some of you are mustering up the strength, the courage to actually admit something to yourself towards the end of the week. And I almost feel as if for <laughs> for a lot of you where that message about the 23rd resonated, where there's like a new connection that's going to take place, I feel like that connection could be what actually sparks this realization. It's what actually triggers this realization, this awakening that, okay, that last connection wasn't right, you know? So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Aquarius. I do hope it was helpful. Um, again, I do have the personals open. My email's down below. There's also details in the community tab. Um, if this is where we part, thank you, Aquarius, so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.